Hello, everyone. My name is Isabella. I will be your facilitator for this session this evening. We're super excited to have you all here for the Tennessee Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. Uh, we have a few wonderful institutions here to tell you a little bit more about what each of them do. Each of them will have six minutes to present on their institution. Please ask your questions at any point throughout the presentation. Do not feel like you need to save them for the end of the session. We have wonderful college reps here, very excited to answer your questions. So take advantage of that Q&A. You'll find the button to ask your questions down at the bottom of your screen. It'll look just like the Q&A button you see on your screen right now. Your camera and microphone are off and they'll remain off throughout the full session. So no one can see you, no one can hear you. Uh, that Q&A is the best way to interact with our college representatives tonight. A reminder that there are two more hours of programming after this session, so feel free to check out the other sessions being offered if you haven't already. And that this session is being recorded, so if you need to return to any of this information, you'll be able to do that through the recordings, which will be found at strivescan.com backslash Tennessee within the next week. So keep an eye out for those as well. But with that, we'll go ahead and get started with our first institution, which is Lynn University. Good evening, everyone. My name is Annie Shea. I am one of the senior assistant directors of undergraduate admission at Lynn University. Uh, Lynn University, we are located in Boca Raton, Florida. Um, and for those of you who don't know Boca, we are situated about 30 minutes south of West Palm Beach, Florida, about 30 minutes north of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and given traffic in 95, about an hour to an hour and a half from Miami, Florida. So we're right smack dab in the middle of South Florida with gorgeous weather. Uh, we are about five miles from the beach here in, in Boca Raton and average temperature is what I like to call just pretty amazing. So um, it obviously a, a fantastic um, location. You know, Lynn University, we are a smaller private university, about 3,100 students of the 3,100, 2,700 are undergraduate students. So like many smaller private universities, you're gonna have fantastic relationships with your professors, a lot of really one-on-one um, -on -one attention, uh, great relationships with, with your classmates. But there are really kind of three aspects of Lynn that really make us unique. And one of those, of course, is the individualization. Um, so much, in fact, here at Lynn, that if there's not a class or a topic that's being taught that really interests you, you can even have what we call a directed study, and it's basically a one-on-one -on -one class with your favorite professor. The second one is in, we're an incredibly international university. We actually rank number one in the Southeast for the number of international students uh, per capita for the students that we have here on campus. 97 nations are represented. Um, it really does make for an incredibly interactive, um, an incredibly um, culturally diverse university and experience for our students. You are literally interacting with students from all over the world every single day. About 25% of our student population comes from outside of the United States. It's been in our DNA for, for years to be a global and international university. And then also we're an incredibly innovative university. We actually ranked number three in the region, most innovative university. Um, and there are several ways that we're incredibly innovative. You know, about 10 years ago, we decided that we needed to meet students where they were um, and how they learn best. You students, parents, if you're joining us, uh, your students have grown up in a digital world their whole life. Um, and they're visual learners. Uh, you guys learn by doing experiential learning. You need these experiences to really learn the field that you plan to go on to. One of the ways that we're incredibly innovative in 2016, we became the very first university in the country to be an Apple Distinguished University. And that means our entire classroom experience and curriculum is using the iPad Pro. So on your very first day of classes, um, you're issued an iPad and you use that iPad 
for the th entire three or four years that you're here. It makes for an incredibly interactive and collaborative experience. You're in the classroom and you're being taught by professors in person, but everything from your textbooks to your research papers, everything is done on that Apple iPad. Um, you're, you even download Apple University, uh, which gives you about 20 plus different apps to help you in and outside of the classroom here at Lynn. We also revamped our entire curriculum uh, about 10 years ago. It's incredibly important that our students know how to apply what they're learning in the classroom to the real world. So our core classes are called the dialogue courses and they're very unique in their own right. But we're taking those liberal arts concepts like English Composition 1, English Composition 2, College Algebra. These are typical core classes that students take at almost every university before they go into their major. Well, we're teaching those those principles, those concepts of the liberal arts, but we're also showing you and teaching you how to apply those to your major and of course to the real world. So for instance, our college algebra course, which is generally taken by, taken by freshmen, is a college algebra and personal finance course. So we're taking those concepts of algebra and we're twisting them. And so you're gonna know how to take out a mortgage, how to invest in the stock market, et cetera. And all of our classes are like this. And even within your major, the classroom experience at Lynn is very innovative. We do not believe in your typical lecture. So you're not going to find our professors talking in front of a classroom while you're taking notes for an hour. Our classes are incredibly interactive. They're collaborative. They're full of discussion and dialogue. Um, there's a lot of presentation. We're honing in on your critical thinking skills, your problem solving skills, whether you're going into being a professional pilot here at Lynn, which we have aviation to music conservatory, to psychology, biology, and beyond. Our students know how to present well, they know how to problem solve, and they can think critically. And our faculty are also some of the best in the nation. One prerequisite of our faculty here at Lynn is that our faculty have to have some kind of experience in the field that they're teaching. We actually, we joke that we call them storytellers because they're really able to kind of relay their stories of their experiences in the field to their students. We have Dr. Joseph Hall on the right hand side there. He's a former FBI agent. He was with the FBI for 22 years and he headed up several crime labs across the country. He teaches in our forensic investigation program. On the left-hand side at the bottom, you see Dr. Kirker. She's a former prosecutor for Los Angeles. She actually sat on the prosecution team for the O.J. Simpson trial. We have um, our artist in residence in our BFA program. He's a Marvel Studios and DC Comics artist. We have a former executive producer of CBS. Um, our new dean of the College of Communication and Design is the former creative director of NBC Universal and Telemundo. It's really great that our, our professors have those type of experiences. And lastly, our students, they're social changers, they're, they make change, they want to give back to the community. So we have the largest social impact lab in the entire country of any university. And there are several ways that our students are able to give back to their community and to the world at large. And that is, of course, why and how Lynn University is incredibly innovative and incredibly global. And I will, of course, give you my information in the chat. Um, and you since you're from Tennessee, I will be a recruiter and your um, advocate for Lynn University. Thanks so much for having me today. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Annie, for sharing a little bit more about Lynn University. Uh, from here, we'll head on over to our next institution, which is Mercer University. Hello, everybody. My name is Jenna Palmer. I serve as one of our associate directors for Mercer, and I'm going to see about sharing my screen here. Technology, you think we would have it by now, but we're getting close. So for your contact, uh, you'll be working with Miss Jackie Atchison. I'll drop her information in the chat, as well as something to keep in mind here at Mercer. We are hosting visits on campus. Uh, they are limited. To one guest, they are socially distanced, masks are required, but it's a great way for you to come and check us out. Before you go through those steps, uh, we hope that you'll consider going through your application process with us. And as you apply to Mercer, you want to look through your checklist. Uh, with that application, we are looking for your high school transcript, 
test scores, we are test optional for this year, as well as you can submit your letter of recommendation. That's for us to be able to get to know you, learn more about you, be descriptive with that, be detailed. Make sure that the person that you're asking to write that is someone that really knows you. Uh, I tell students treat like a character reference. It cannot come from a relative. We assume that they love you and think that you're awesome, so we're gonna need to hear from someone else. That can come from a counselor. It can come from a teacher, a mentor, a supervisor. But again, treat it like that character reference. We do super score, meaning we'll take your highest score out of each section uh, and with it, be able to go through that application evaluation as well as scholarship consideration. Something to keep in mind, you see that it says optional. Mercer is test optional. What that means is you have the option to submit your test scores and have those be considered with your application consideration process. Or if you feel that COVID has impacted your testing, or if it's something that you've tested, but you feel that they're not an accurate reflection of your academic potential, you can select to be test optional, which means that we will not consider your test scores in your application process. Now, as you're going through that application process, we have the Mercer app and the Common app. We don't have a preference, just get one to us. And more information is on apply.mercer.edu that you see here. Now with those transcripts, we do want for them to be official. That means signed, sealed, delivered. Uh, they can also be electronic official. It could come from a certain service uh, through your school to be sent to us. Now, if there are any transfer students, we are certainly a transfer friendly institution and we have a couple of different ways that you go through those steps with us, dependent on your number of credit hours that you've completed. If you have questions about a transfer process, we can put you in touch with Ms. Ashley Herman she works with all of our transfer students. Now, as I said, for this upcoming year, Mercer will be test optional as well as the following year. If you have a question about whether you should apply as a test optional student or not, reach out to your counselor. We're happy to go through that information with you. Now, if you do choose to submit those standardized test scores, uh, we need the official ones. We're not able to use unofficial test scores or the PDF. Uh, we need to match them to specifically you and your account. You can request those through College Board for SAT or the ACT website for your ACT scores. And remember, with super scoring, we're taking the highest out of each section, regardless of test, using it for your application as well as your scholarship consideration. Now for that letter of recommendation, we have several different options of who you could potentially select with it. We need one, we'll take up to three. Three is kind of the cap of how many ways people can say how wonderful and amazing you are. So that's really what we're looking for, but don't be afraid to submit three. If you feel that that is an accurate reflection of you and you need that many to be able to have that come across, let us know about you. Uh, transfer students, you are not required to submit a letter of recommendation with your application process. And lastly, for dates and deadlines, this is helpful to do a screen grab or look through this information later in the recording. This is our official timeline. I would encourage applying when our application opens, August 1st, uh, but certainly before our early action deadline. Early action is non-binding. It means you can have applications with multiple institutions like you see here, and then be able to go through to see which institution is the best fit for you. But by applying early action, it means you'll receive your decision soonest as well as potentially be invited for any on-campus scholarship interview days or our virtual options. Stay in touch with your counselor through this process. We're here to assist in any way that we can. We have Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Please use our website, but your best resource through this entire process, your counselor. We're here to assist you any way that we can. So I'll go ahead and drop Jackie's contact information in the chat here, and then you'll be good to go. Great, thank you so much, Jenna, for sharing a little bit more about Mercer. From here, we'll head on over to Southeastern University. Hi, everyone. My name is Montana, and I am so excited to share a little bit with you guys about Southeastern University. I'm gonna go ahead and try to share my screen, and then we should be good. Can you guys see my screen, hopefully? Awesome. It's still, it looks black. Just okay. So you know. 
Cool, that's okay. Um, so Southeastern University is located in Lakeland, Florida. So we are a private Christian university right in between Orlando and Tampa. So we're a great spot. We're surrounded by so many awesome beaches and theme parks. So it's so much fun. Our size on campus is right around 2,500. So we are a smaller university, but I love the size of our school. It is big enough to where you still meet a new person every day, but small enough to where you still see your close-knit group of friends. Next, we're going to kind of go over a little bit about me. So I attended SEU as a student. I did my undergraduate degree in organizational leadership, got a minor in business. And last August, I finished my master's of business and administration. One of my favorite parts about SEU was the professors. They're honestly the best. Um, they have all the they all have the best experience. They've all been within the field that they are teaching and the class sizes are small. The biggest class size that you will have is probably 20 students. So you still get that one-on-one -on -one interaction with professors. They all knew my name, they all knew my story and they came alongside me and helped me find my purpose in life. And SU really has changed me as a person and made me into the Christian I am today. So it seriously is one of the best environments to thrive in and to find your purpose in life. Next, kind of going to go over a few academic highlights with you guys. Our five most popular majors are kinesiology, psychology, biological science, bachelors of social work, elementary education, and we have 80 plus undergraduate programs and we are constantly adding new ones. So if you do not see one on our website, that's okay. Check back. We might have one in the next few years. Um, some of our newest majors are aviation, political science, tourism, and hospitality management, language, culture, and trade. And those last two, tourism, language, culture, and trade, those are awesome for the area we are in because we're right in the Central Florida hub, which is super cool. We're surrounded by a lot of hotels and theme parks, so those are right up our alley. Nursing is one of our great majors we have on campus for our nursing students the first time pass rate for the NCLEX which is what you have to take after you graduate in order to become a registered nurse is an impressive 92 percent which exceeds national average of 87 percent so that's first time for our nursing students which is awesome and then for our education majors, 95% of SU education graduates are offered teaching positions prior to the start of the next school year following graduation, which is awesome that they already have that job secured before graduation. And then for our accounting majors, first time pass rates for the CPA exam is 85%, which is among the highest of the colleges and universities in Florida, which is great. And then just some admission updates for you guys. We are test optional this school year. So any of our seniors looking at SEU, we do not require SAT or ACT in order to be accepted. And then we are offering a full on-campus experience with appropriate health and safety precautions in place. So we have partnered with a local hospital, which has actually set up site on our campus, which is awesome. So we have all the precautions needed in order to maintain a healthy campus and then we have academic scholarships available up to $19,000. And then lastly, we would love to have you guys visit on campus. So I'll drop that information below. We do have event days. Um, we have a few throughout the semester. I think we have one left this year. And then we have daily visits Monday through Saturday in the morning and afternoon. And then I also would love to invite you guys to apply for free. So you can use the code FUTUREFIRE to waive the $40 application fee. And I'll pop all this information in the chat. But again, I am Montana. I'm over the Tennessee area. So if you guys do choose to to apply, I will be your enrollment counselor. So please feel free to reach out with any questions. Awesome, thank you so much for sharing a little bit more about Southeastern. From here, we'll head on over to Piedmont University. Hello everyone. Well, um, we are currently still Piedmont College, but tomorrow we'll be officially Piedmont University. Um, so at a glance, we are located in Georgia. The school was founded in 1897. So we're actually planning our 125th celebration. We currently have what we call four different schools. Once we make the transition, they will become colleges, but we have, we have the RH Daniel School of Nursing and Health Science, Walker School of Business, School of Education, and then School of Arts and Sciences. 
We have over 49 different clubs and organizations with 21 sport teams plus many intramural teams. Um, the current faculty to student ratio is 11 to 1 and the average class size was um, it's around 12. And we have about 1200 undergraduate students um, between two campuses. We have another campus in Athens. So it's a very, very small school. Like I mentioned earlier, we will be transitioned to Piedmont University uh, tomorrow, uh, April 9th. So uh, just if you haven't checked out our website, we'll get a new website, new branding, everything. It's a very unique uh, thing for me to experience as an alumni of Piedmont. So I am very, very excited. Um, like I said, our schools will become colleges, new logos are coming. We're also expanding with renovations being completed for new buildings. Uh, for education students, new athletic uh, facilities, new residence halls coming in within the next five years. Uh, so definitely uh, come visit us if you haven't done so. Uh, in terms of rest life, residential living, we have suite style and apartment style housing. Uh, as a freshman, you would definitely stay in the suite style uh, where you have a room, a roommate and you, then you share a bathroom with two other people. And then um, just last year alone, Residential Living, they provided over 150 programs. Um, that are not, that's not including any of the events that the um, clubs and organizations um, hosted. Um, and then all rooms come with a twin bed, as well as full-size fridge, microwave, closet space, and a desk area. And then we also provide limited, especially right now, um, trips off campus. Um, but there's always uh, sporting events, concerts, theater performances, museums, uh, receptions, and many other uh, events happening um, each semester. Um, for example, these are just some pictures of some of the things happening or have happened. So on the top left, we have our theater department hosting one, one of their shows. The bottom left one is from what we call the League of, Li League of Lions auction. Basically, the more you're involved, the more points you receive. Uh, and in return, you can um, get those points and then auction them for items like um, bicycles, uh, TVs, kayaks. Uh, I think two years ago, they gave out an iPad. Here in the middle, you see the chemistry club. Um, and then the bottom uh, middle, you see uh, students in the nursing program interacting in the disaster drill that they host every year. And then obviously we have Team Piedmont, which is one of the organizations on campus. And then on the bottom right, is a sporting event. Um, some of the admissions requirements, our application is free. We have our undergraduate admissions application, as well as you can go through the common application. We are test optional. However, if you do choose to send us your test scores, um, we look for a thousand SAT composite score um, and then a 20 on the ACT and then a 3.0 GPA unweighted if you provide SAT scores. If not, we'll look for a 3.2. And then that will be used to um, help with the merit-based scholarships that we uh, offer. Um, and about 97% of the students have some kind of institutional aid. Like I said, uh, the, the biggest scholarship that we provide is the merit-based scholarship, which is based on the GPA and test scores. Uh, but if you decide not to send test scores, we just look at your GPA. So, and we also accept any other federal need-based aid as well as outside scholarships. Um, we are division three, as I mentioned, we do have 21 different sports. Our newest one being swimming. Um, so we do not off offer athletic scholarships. Um, and then we also include some departmental scholarships, especially uh, in the fine arts. So if you do any of the theater, music or art, you could potentially receive scholarship money there. And then just last year, we gave over $12 million in scholarships, institutional scholarships alone. Uh, definitely come visit us. We do have in-person visits as well as virtual. We offer them Monday through Friday, 9 to 3 p.m. Um, and then that's really the best way to um, learn more about Piedmont. You will meet with an admissions advisor, financial aid professor in your area of interest, as well as if you do play a sport, coaches if they're available, and then you end up with a campus tour. Uh, we also offer remote, like I said, um, remote options, and you still get the same thing, admissions, financial aid, and professor. 
Um, so I definitely encourage you to come visit us. Um, here's my information. If you do have any questions, you can definitely email uh, ugrad at piedmont.edu or email me. You can also scan the QR code to fill out the, our online inquiry form. If you have any other questions, just let us know. Great, thanks so much for sharing a little bit more about Piedmont University. Uh, from here, we'll head on over to Nova Southeastern University. Hello, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Just one moment. Did I turn my camera on? Sorry, it's taking a while. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Lanisha James, and I am the missions counselor here at Nova Southeastern University. We are a private selective research university located in sunny South Florida. We are smack dab right between West Palm Beach and Miami Dade. So we are a mid-sized university. We have about 5,600 undergraduate students. We actually um, started off as a doctoral program. So um, our undergraduate program is actually the smallest of all of the programs that we offer. We like to keep our class sizes at an average at about um, 17 students. It can range higher or lower just based on your major. But we are proud to say that we have students from 50 states and over 100 countries. So we are a very diverse university. We were top ranked by U, um, US News as well as Forbes. And I'm going through these a little quickly because I know we don't have time, but I will break them down as we go. Um, all students will have a dedicated career coach for all four years. And on the next slide, I'll explain why. After this video. <laughs> Just so you know, we did just lose the audio on the video. Sorry about that. And higher passion. NSU is the only university to give all undergraduates a four-year career coach. And our dual admission programs offer them secured admission to graduate, professional, or medical school. Plain and simple, that's why graduates of NSU bachelor's, master's, doctoral, and professional degree programs become the kinds of leaders that make a real difference in the real world. And that's what we mean when we say our students have the NSU edge. Nova Southeastern University, prepare to dominate. Alrighty, so we offer over 50 undergraduate programs. Amongst the most popular is, at, is definitely our medical program, the um, healthcare and nursing. And just based off location alone, the marine biology program is really booming also business. You are not required to stick to just one major. Feel free to double major or major and minor in any of these programs. So we absolutely offer an ocean of opportunities. When you come to NSU, it's not just about earning your 120 credits and getting your degree. We want you to be a well-rounded individual and make sure that you're prepared for the real world before you get there. So to get to that point, we assign you an Excel coach as well. So this person is going to help you with your units that you have to earn in addition to your credits. And you can earn these in unique ways like studying abroad or travel study, which is traveling with your class for a shorter amount of time, still earning college credits and getting that hands-on experience. And I said that I will go into the career development. You have a career co coach from your freshman year who you're assigned to so you don't have to get um, uncomfortable with new people every time. They're gonna help you with things like building your resume, doing mock interviews, even getting internships. You can utilize these services after you graduate as well. Let's say you have a change of heart and you want to change your career plans. 10 years later, you can come back to NSU and we're here for you. We don't want you to graduate and be just like everyone else. We want you to actually have an advantage, have a resume built with several hands-on experiences, internships and things like that. So we want to make sure that you're utilizing these services as well. 
As I mentioned, we are a research university. We're actually in the finishing stages of building our hospital on campus. Being that we are pretty medical driven, a lot of our students can use these, this hospital to do uh, research and do get hands-on experience work from actual doctors that are working there now. So just to go into a little bit more about these programs, we have our dual admissions program. You obviously can't go straight from high school to med school or straight from high school to law school or even straight from high school to your master's program in business. But we allow you to reserve your seat in that program by um, interviewing your senior year in high school as long as you maintain that 3.5 GPA and pass whatever MCAT, LSAT, whatever required testing you need, that seat is there for you and you don't have to compete with anyone else when that time comes, you can transition right into that program. So we are very, very academically driven, but this is college. It's a once in a lifetime experience. We want you to have fun, get involved and have a, the time of your life. We have 17 NCAA division teams, one of them not being football, but we have something even better. We are the only university in the United States to have a partnership with an NFL team being the Miami Dolphins. So all students have access to all home games and we will shuttle you there and back if you do not have a car, but you are allowed to drive on campus if you are a freshman. So if you do have a car, that's totally fine. We have over 120 clubs and organizations on campus with the 99% student participation, pay, um, participation rate. We love to brag about that. And if you can't find one club in one of the 120, you only need six students and a faculty member and you can start your own club. So that's a great way to leave your legacy at NSU as well. Lastly, we'll stay on this for a brief second. I just want to show you that even though if you're not a Florida resident, it's okay. We offer many in-house scholarships. You are automatically considered for the Dean Scholarship once you are admitted and definitely participate in our Razor's, in our Razor's Edge or Fischler Academy, all of these premier programs. You can interview for these opportunities as well. And as you gave out over $41 million in in-house scholarships just last year. Lastly, there are a few things that you have to do before you are at NSU Shark and that's completing the Shark Select app or the Common app. We'll need your transcripts. We are test optional as of right now. We'll need at least one letter of recommendation, but if people like you that much and are willing to submit more, that's totally fine. And our essay is also optional. De definitely follow our social media handles. We would love to connect with you. My name is here, so is my number, and I'll also put it in the chat. I hope you have a great day. Awesome, thank you so much for sharing a little bit more about Nova Southeastern University. From here, we'll head on over to our final institution of the session, which is Savannah College of Art and Design. Hello, everyone. We will go ahead and get started. So my name is Kelsey Olive. I am the Assistant Director of Admission here at SCAD. I am based out of the Savannah campus. So just a little bit about SCAD before we get into anything else, a few numbers for you. So right now we're sitting at approximately 15,000 students from all 50 states and over 100 countries. In fact, 25% of our student population are international students. If you combine our majors and our minors, it cultivates into over 100 degree programs. I highly suggest if you are interested in SCAD to take a look at our minors list. We have over 75 minors and they are incredibly specific, but also your minor doesn't have to match your major. It can just be something that you're interested in, maybe a hobby that you, of course, it's all art and design related, maybe that you just want to dabble in in your future, or if you want to get some entrepreneurship skills under your belt as an artist later in life, you can also minor in entrepreneurship. There's really something for everyone in the, the majors, but of course, also in the minors. So we always do a 10 month study on all of our spring graduates. So we don't have the 10 month study from our 2020 graduates yet because they do graduate the end of May. So we're coming up on that 20, that 10 uh, month mark. But of our 2019 graduates, 99% were either employed, seeking further education or both 10 months after graduation. Of that 99%, 91% were employed in the creative field that they went to SCAD for no starving artists coming out of SCAB. 
This is one of our successful alumni in the red hoodie. His name is Christopher John Rogers. I highly suggest you follow him on Instagram. He has just released a new line called 007. Um, he numbers all of them, and that was just the number that was next. So he is a fashion alumni and most recently had in 2019 won the Vogue Fashion Fund Award, which is a $400,000 award. He is also pr premiered two lines at New York Fashion Week and dress stars such as Michelle Obama, Zendaya, Lizzo, Lil Nas, and most recently, Madam Vice President Kamala Harris at the inauguration. He's also a testament of using your SCAD family to your your advantage. His entire team at his label CJR are all SCAD alumni of which he met during his time at SCAD. He's also even asked alumni to walk for him in his fashion shows. They're not models, they're just his friends, but his success is their success and vice versa. So at SCAD, we champion a small class size. In all of your classes throughout your four years at SCAD, you will never have more than 25 students in your class. We're also on the quarter system versus a normal college is usually on the semester system. So a typical student will do three quarters a year while there are four, one for every season, and a student will usually have three classes a quarter. You're in class for two and a half hours every time a class meets, and you'll usually meet twice a week, not usually, you will meet twice a week, and you will never have class on Friday. So Fridays are always a great work day. If you come to campus and tour with me, then you will usually see students in class working, especially on Friday, but also throughout the week because most of the buildings are open 24 seven. So we'll talk a little bit about our campuses. Of course, we do have a campus in Savannah, but we'll get there. We'll start at Atlanta. So we have a campus at the intersection of I-75 and I-85 in the heart of Midtown Atlanta. Our neighbors are Coca-Cola, CNN, Cartoon Network, and Adult Swim. In that campus, it sits about at 10 buildings. That campus grows up, not out, as you can imagine, being in Atlanta. Then we'll circle the globe to our permanent study abroad location in Lacoste, France. You are at Lacoste for a quarter at a time, so 10 weeks. You can't study at quarters consecutively, so you can't be a full-time student as, at Lacoste, but you could go up to three or four times depending on how long you stay at SCAD or if you change your major because we'll usually send majors that are alike together to Lacoste at the same time so they can collaborate and the professors can double dip. But at Lacoste, it is actually SCAD-owned buildings. You are living in SCAD owned property in this beautiful medieval town. And in your 10 weeks, it, is include, it includes a 10 day excursion to Paris. Then we'll circle back to Savannah. So of course, Savannah is the original location started in 1978. Right now we have over 80 buildings across downtown Savannah, which is a very large campus intermixed and mingled between everyday life of Savannah buildings and houses and businesses, you really feel like you're a local when you're at the Savannah campus. And then our e-learning platform, I know you're thinking I do not wanna to go to college and study online, but it can, it's been around for over 10 years now. It definitely comes in handy when you have an internship, which every major does require some sort of internship, either in-house at SCAD called SCAD Pro or an outside internship. And SCAD helps you land those internships through our office called CAS, Career and Alumni Success. You will have a CAS advisor as well as a student advisor during your entire time at SCAD and students say you'll get out of your cast advisor as much as you put in. The internships are there waiting for you. You just need to tell your cast advisor that you're ready and you're ready to get it. We also have summer programs. So we have summer seminar, which are one week long programs, rising star, which are for students who have finished their junior year of high school. Those are that's a five week long program. You take two college classes and you get to keep the credit. And then we also do have a dual enrollment program for anyone 16 and up. We work with any high school as long as that high school will work with us. It is super easy to apply. I'm going to type in my info in the chat when we're done. I've got a promo code for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I also just started an Instagram for my SCAD admission life. Um, you'll have to follow that. I think I started it like yesterday. So join me on that journey on uh, Instagram and also come visit. I can definitely set you up with a tour, get you in. If we don't have a date available, I can show you around myself, but I hope to see you soon. Great, thank you so much, Kelsey, for sharing a little bit more about SCAD. Uh, at this point, I'd like to take a moment to invite all of our college representatives to turn their video back on. And we do have a few minutes 
uh, for everyone to chime in on a group question. So I'll wait just one more second for everyone to join us. Wonderful. So I think what would be fun is if everyone wants to take a moment to share what your favorite tradition or event held on your campus is. And we can just go in the same order that you presented so we can kick things off with Lynn. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna say two of them, I'm so sorry. Um, and I know some of my presenters have already heard this from me, um, but one of them is the Festival of Nations. Like I had mentioned, we are such an international university that I mean, we do celebrate, um, you know, our cultural diversity every single day, but there is a special week here at Lynn where we really celebrate and we have um, just a week full of really fun activities. Even the Dining Commons um, will highlight different dishes from, from students uh, where they're from and ask that students send us them recipes that their mom, um, you know, of dinners their mom make that they miss and they'll try to replicate those. Um, and our other one, of course, is kind of the Lynn University birthday. It's called our Founders Day and it's a weekend full of a lot of fun activities about only about 30% of our students come from the state of Florida. Um, the rest, um, you know, are here. They they don't commute home on the weekends. And so uh, we have an incredibly lively campus for our students who call in home. I'm gonna say the trip to the tower. So all of our first year students are able to take that uh, trip with their orientation group. You go to the very top of the tower, you see the entire campus, no one's died, super safe. But it's really fun because every student gets to sign their name and you see layers and layers of signatures and some students have even found their parents names before. So you get to add your name to that tradition. It's pretty neat. Southeastern, do you want to go next? Yes, so we have an event called the Battle of the Dorms. So this is during the first week of move-in and it's just a time for students to not only get to know each other even more, but also to meet other people as well as compete against each other. So every year there's a dorm that wins from like sand volleyball games to laser tag. There's all kinds of fun games kind of put into it. So it's just a fun event that's a huge tradition on campus. Piedmont, um, probably the best one is towards the end of the semester. We host this event called Late Night Breakfast. Basically, we, we just provide a big breakfast for everyone who is getting ready to battle the, um, the finals. So it just, they're already, you know, staying up, might as well feed them. And um, we have music, uh, giveaways, all that kind of good stuff, so. Okay, I don't know if it's a Florida thing, but I have two short ones as well. <laughs> we have one called Anything That Floats Race, and basically in the middle of campus, well, kind of in the middle of campus, we have Gold Circle Lake, and basically our students will come together from different clubs and organizations, and they will build their own raft off of things that should float. They don't always make it across the lake, but the first club or organization that does without sinking or reversing in the different direction, they can win money for their club or organization. And one other really, really cool one that I like is um, we have a, a rock climbing wall in our gym area and our students will, you know, take advantage of it and have fun. But if you don't climb it before you graduate, they say on your graduation day, you have to climb it with your cap and gown. So it's always really cute to see that. <laughs> So at SCAD, our first, what we call signature event was a sidewalk arts festival. It was SCAD's way of just kind of telling the Savannah locals that, hey, we're here. So if you've ever been to Savannah or if you've Googled it or you can Google it afterwards, it's called Forsyth Park. So it's about a two mile long park with a big um, ornate white fountain in the middle and every single square of sidewalk concrete is done in sidewalk art by current students, alumni, faculty. We even have a high, local high school portion and I attribute it to you feel like you're Mary Poppins and you could just jump into these sidewalk arts and it's just sidewalk chart and water, but it is the most beautiful art you will ever see. Awesome, cool. Well, I, I really appreciate each of you sharing an event or a tradition. Those are really fun. I definitely learned um, something about each of your institutions as well. Uh, but with that, I think that is, is what we have time for for our session today. And so I do want to say thank you to each of our college representatives for sharing a little bit more about their institution, but also thank you for joining us to learn a little bit more as well. 
A quick note that there is a very quick four question survey that will appear on your screen as soon as this session ends. If you don't mind taking the extra moment to fill that out for us, it's helpful for us to get feedback as we continue to plan sessions such as these. A reminder that there are two more hours of programming after this session. So if you haven't already checked out those sessions, feel free to sign up for more opportunities. And that this session was recorded and that the recording will be available at strivescan.com backslash Tennessee within the next few days if you want to return to any of this information. Uh, but with that, thank you all once again, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening.